Hello and welcome to the very second video lecture on application of Z-transform to difference equations. So earlier we have taken one example. Here again we are going to take uh, one more example uh, of different variety. Okay, so let us start with this. So this problem says using Z-transform solve un plus 2 plus 4 un plus 1 plus 3 un is equal to 2 to the power n and we are given some condition u of 0 0 and u of 1 is 1. So how we start with this? So follow the working rule in order to uh, avoid any mistakes. Okay. So write down the given equation. So you can write the given equation is of course the difference equation. The given equation is what is it? u n plus 2 plus 4 u n plus 1 plus 3 u n is equal to 2 to the power n. Okay. Now after writing down this equation take the z transform. Taking z transform on both sides. Taking z transform on both sides we get so what I will be getting after taking Z transform so it is like Z transform of u n plus 2 plus 4 times Z transform of u n plus 1 plus 3 Z transform of u n is equal to Z transform of 2 power n any doubt up to this here we have uh, used the uh, linear D property okay taking out the constant and taking Z transform of the sequence now using the uh, shifting property so let me write it's a good practice to write uh, this shifting property in order to avoid mistake but if you don't have any time uh, then you can skip also so Z transform of f of n plus k is equal to what is it Z power k into f of z minus f of 0 minus f1 by z minus f2 by z square minus and so on and so on okay now apply this property i will be getting it uh, z what is the n uh, sorry n is n k is 2 here so z square z transform of u n let me denoted by u of z okay then minus u0 minus u1 by z okay if it is like 2 take only 2 terms here if it is 3 take 3 terms if it is 1 take just the 1 term okay so this completes uh, z transform of the first term now let us uh, go ahead so this is 4 what about this z power 1 u of z minus f0 so it is u of 0 okay then next 3 z transform of this is u of z and what is z transform of a to the power n z transform of a to the power n is z upon z minus a so here a is 2 so this is z upon z minus 2 simple so after this the things uh, becomes easier for you because you just have to uh, substitute the value of u0 and u1 so you can write here but u0 is equal to 0 and u1 is equal to 1 okay so apply this so this is like uh, It should be like this, okay? So, z square u of z minus 0 minus 1 by z plus 4 z u of z minus 0 plus 3 u of z z by z minus 2 okay 
Now you just multiply with this. So when you multiply z square so this, we, I will be getting z square into u of z minus what about this z plus 4z into u of z is it plus 3 u of z is equal to z upon z minus 2 easy if you have any doubt up to this you can ask or you can pause the video try to understand it for any queries you can ask if not then we can uh, solve this problem further so now you, as you can see here we have the term of u z so collecting the term of u of z and u of z common so i will remain with u of z common so what are the coefficients z squared then i have another coefficient 4z then i have 3 okay into u of z is equal to now only the term i am left with this minus z right so i have uh, on the right z upon z minus 2 and take this minus to the right to get it plus z simple okay now you can just uh, solve this uh, right hand side so it would be z plus what is it z square minus 2z upon z minus 2 so this is z square minus z upon z minus 2 if you want you can take uh, one z common from here and you can write z upon uh, what is it uh, z minus 1 right upon z minus 2 simple now what you can do is you can solve this also uh, let us write it as uh, z square plus 4z plus 3 u of z and then you can have a factor of it z into z 3 1 z 3 3z 1z 4z so this is z minus 1 z minus 3 u of z okay so now uh, you can take all the terms of uh, u of z in the one side and the other terms on the other side and then again we have to apply the partial fraction method okay so now see here what i am gonna do i will take this z here and rest of these factors here so now i will uh, write this as u of z taking this z here is equal to what is it z minus 1 upon z minus 1 z minus 2 into z minus 3 okay z minus 1 upon z minus uh, is it correct or not yeah z plus 1 z plus 2 uh, not minus should be plus yes this minus 3 yeah it should be plus sorry so okay z plus 1 and z plus 3 okay correct okay so now what you can do here is uh, you can just solve this partial fraction and again i am uh, going to do some rough work here okay you, if you want you can write it directly so it is like z minus 1 upon z plus 1 z minus 2 z plus 3 is equal to a by z plus 1 plus b upon z minus 2 plus c upon z plus 3 so now my objective is to get the values of a b and c okay so how one can get this is the very simple problem that you can have so to get the value of a a b c are unknowns to get the value of a i will put z is equal to minus 1 in the left hand side okay excluding this factor z plus 1 okay so now see here a is equal to, what should be a z is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 
minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 1 plus 3 is 2 so this minus minus get cancelled 2 2 get cancelled so this is 1 by 3 simple now let us go on finding out this b and c i think uh, that this thing you can do so i just want you to pause the video for a few seconds try to get the value of b and c and resume the video so take your time I hope you might have uh, found out the values of B and uh, C. So let us check what what is B and what is C. So to get the value of B, what we should do? To get the value of B, we put Z is equal to 2 in the left hand side and excluding this factor. So what is it? 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Then here. 2 plus 1 is 3 then here it is 2 plus 3 is 5 so this is 1 by 15 right and uh, at last to get c i will put z equal to minus 3 or here so c is equal to z equal to minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 and uh, here minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 so 1 minus will get cancelled, 2 za, 1 za, so this is minus 2 by 5, is it? Minus 2 by 5, I am getting the value of C, okay? So A is 1 by 5, okay, yeah, fine, 1 by 15, 1 by 3 and minus 2 by 5, that's correct. Now we can replace this complex fraction as a partial sum so let me write it as uh, therefore u of z upon z and in place of this i can write this by putting the value of abc so what is this a is 1 by 3 so this is 1 by 3 into 1 upon z plus 1 then b b is 1 by 15 so plus 1 by 15 1 upon z minus 2 and what is c minus 2 by 5 to 1 upon z plus 3 simple now you just take this z to here so i am going to do this step here only so multiplying this z here so this is like this Simple. Now take the inverse z transform. Taking, taking inverse z transform, taking inverse z transform on both sides, we get. So what I will be getting z inverse of u of z is equal to one by three. What is next? Z inverse of Z upon Z plus 1 plus 1 by 15 Z inverse of Z upon Z minus 2 minus 2 by 5 Z inverse of Z upon Z plus 3. Now you can write what is Z inverse of U of Z? Z inverse of U of Z is U of N. So u of n is equal to 1 by 3. This is z inverse z transform of minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by 15. This is z inverse of 2 power n minus 2 by 5. This is z transform inverse z transform of minus 3 to the power n. So this is the solution we were looking for the given difference equations. So I hope the problem that I have taken over here is uh, clear to you and uh, for any doubt or queries, I am there to help you out. So thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.